Having a ghost gun is now illegal in the city of San Diego. That's right. The city's ghost gun ordinance took effect today, banning San Diegans from owning, purchasing, and transporting firearms without serial numbers, which are known as ghost guns. News 8's Regina Ahn has more from supporters and opponents of this new law. So this new law bans the purchase, possession, sale, receipt, and transportation of any homemade firearms without serial numbers, which are commonly known as ghost guns. It's intended not to catch people off guard or further criminalize people. It's intended to stop this at the source. So we're seeing a flood of unserialized, unregulated ghost gun parts entering our city. San Diego Council member Marty Von Wilpert says there's a direct correlation with violence and ghost guns. We're seeing a continuing rise in the amount of gun violence in our communities perpetrated by people with these guns. Von Wilpert authored and introduced the Enough Ordinance and was approved by City Council on September 14th, then signed into law on September 30th, 2021 by Mayor Todd Gloria. Today, that ban went into effect. She says it's an important day for the city. They've seen over 169% rise in the number of ghost guns they are confiscating out in the streets of San Diego. They're on track to double the number that they confiscated last year. And we're seeing the rising gun violence in all of our communities. And San Diego Police Department has told us that more and more often, these crimes are committed by people who have ghost guns. Those opposing this ban, like San Diego County gun owners, released this statement stating residents have been forced to rid themselves of their lawfully acquired personal property and goes on to say this ordinance will do nothing to protect the public. San Diego police say in 2019 they seized 36 non-serialized guns, 70 in 2020, and 133 through July of 2021. Von Wilpert says the San Diego Police Department actually created a ghost gun specialized team to pinpoint where these parts are coming from. People with prior violent felonies or people who have domestic violence abuse records or people with mental illness or people in gangs will assemble quite a few of them, dozens of them in a home and then sell them to other prohibited buyers on social media. City leaders say they'll now present to the board some options for community-based gun violence reduction and disruption programs.